Good morning, second graders. It's so weird that you are not at school right now. I'm sitting here with an empty classroom talking to a camera. I miss you guys. Praying that all of this crazy is over soon so that you can come back to school and that I can actually hang out with you and teach you. But until then, I've created really awesome homework packets for you so that you can keep working hard and then come back and we'll just pick up right where we left off. Okay, so I am gonna start off the day by reading to you about an octopus. Follow a good example. For its size of body, the octopus has the largest brain of all animals without backbones. It's very intelligent and learns quickly. If trainers work with one octopus and teach it to do something, the other octopuses will simply learn by watching. Some captive oct octopuses have even figured out how to escape from their tanks. The octopus also has the best eyesight of all animals without backbones. When it searches for food, an octopus is a good judge of distance. If several crabs swim nearby, the octopus always makes the best choice and grabs the nearest crab with its muscular arms or tentacles. An octopus, which is actually very shy, moves around the rocks and in the sand by crawling with its eight arms. The suction discs on their arms hang onto rocks. The octopus can also swim with jet propulsion jet propulsions by forcing water out of a special funnel called a siphon. That is like blowing up a balloon and then letting it loose in the water. So in the Bible, Jesus' disciples learned by following him. When Jesus first began his ministry, he told 12 men, come, follow me. And they did. They listened to Jesus teach. They watched him heal many sick people. Then Jesus sent them out to do the same work of teaching and healing that he had done. The night before Jesus was crucified, he washed his disciples' feet. He said, I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet. So you also should wash one another's feet. I have given you an example and you should do as I have done for you. John 13, 14 through 15. So how do you, like an octopus, learn by following. In what ways do you follow the good examples of your parents or your teachers? Are you willing to follow Jesus? Remember how Jesus treated other people? He took time for them. He helped them with their problems and he loved them. So think of one way that you will follow Jesus's example today. Okay. I am now going to read to you a poem called Wiggly Giggles. It's by Stacy Joe Crossan and Natalie Ann Covell. I've never read this one to you before. This one's a new one. I've got the wiggly wiggles today and I just can't sit still. My teacher says she'll have to find a stop me wiggle pill. I've got the giggly giggles today. I couldn't tell you why, but if Mary hiccups one more time, giggle till I cry. I've got to stamp my wiggles out and hold my giggles in because wiggling makes me giggle and gigglers never win. Wiggly Giggles by Stacey Jo Crossan and Natalie Ann Coble. Okay guys, so normally I ask special helper two questions, but instead, I'm gonna ask all of you two questions. You don't have to tell me what your answer is, but if you want to tell me what your answers, what your answers are, then you could have your parents either text me your answers or you could have them email me your answers or you could send me a letter with your answers. My two questions for you are, what is something fun that you did over spring break? And what, is the best thing that you've eaten over spring break. 
I want to know. Okay, that's it for this morning. See you guys.